Welcome to Jesus Christ Center, Nolongo. The home of grace and favor. You can follow us on YouTube and Facebook. He has done it to our life. He has done it to our life. He has done it to our lives. He has done it. He has done it. He has done it. He has done it. He has done it, he has done it to our lives. Hallelujah. What I'm going to celebrate to come at the Kama. I say, what I'm going to celebrate. Faithful Lord. You are faithful Lord. 
You are faithful. You are faithful. You are faithful. Manisha be come yako na popo karibisha kutumisha wa mungu ni pastor mwaka. In the net of the world. Another 
another secret. If in the front of you there is a seat, just take one step ahead, and I tell you there will be more power ahead of you. Take a seat. I want to empty the seats at the back totally. Today we are going to close the door. We are going to do what we call damage to the kingdom of the devil. Oh yes, except the bishop's seat. Don't take a step. Unless don't move forward. Just stay where you are. Unless <laughs> was about to take a step. Just take a step. Young people, just take a step. That is the lesson for today. Taking a step. Take a step forward. No, no, no. You don't need to pay at one eye level. What you go at two hours, okay, man. That you can see now like this. Yeah, hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. We are creating more space for the angels to sit together with us. Tunataka malaika wakae pamoja na sisi leo. Eh, na wako hapa, hebu angalia kando yangu huko kama unaona malaika. Wakati wanaona malaika. Wakati wanaona malaika. Mimi nawaona wako wengi tu. Mimi, yani majina na masaa kama haya ndio wakati malaika ushuka ili wahudumie moyo ya watu. Haleluya. Yeah, leo kunafanywa damage in the kingdom of the devil. Sema fire. 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 Sema upanga. Upanga wa moto. Nakata pepo. Nakata pepo. Nakata pepo. Nakata pepo. Na choma mchao. To share the word of God. Uh, he is our covering. And everything we do here, we do on behalf of the man of God. Amen. Uh, how many know our bishop? Uh -huh. Okay, how many know his three names? Only one, two. How many want to know the three names of the bishop? Let me see. Uh, so you know and you are not lifting your hand. All right, thank you very much. God bless you. Our bishop is called Bishop Benjamin Mala. He is a presiding bishop of Jesus Christ Victory. International imeandikwa hapa kama umekaa huko nyuma ungesoma jamani nikwambia usome karibu na hii kanisa inaitwa Jesus Grace Center Bulongo tuko na makanisa 30 katika taifa letu la Kenya hapo ni obisho ana preside over he is a general overseer of those churches they are scattered all over Nyeri uh, Nairobi kampani machako the entire kampani region and the Lord has blessed us tremendously. Amen. So when you pray, pray for our other churches and God shall bless you very much. Now before uh, I bring the word to you, we are doing a great thing very soon here. The Lord has blessed us with one of the biggest parcels of land around Malonga. <laughs> very special. Yes, we are going to put up a very tall building. It will be the best here in Mulolongo. It will be the best. I tell you, the way you look best, or you, know, you don't know you are best, to the poor are the most beautiful. Kama unafikiria his style is the beautiful way go jaya. Tunajenga wapo opposite. Nyumba ya gorofa. Itaena mua kutusaidia baka gorofa kumi. Manake itakuwa na everything that we need. The most modern washrooms. We don't call them toilets. We call them washrooms. Iko na vio. Iko kwa hivyo unangali. Hato kuta kwa kali hapa nyuma unaona. Unajiona. Kapisa. Unangali ya vio. Unangia pa. Unangali kwa unoka haraka. It is going to be beautiful. You guys are going to be. The washrooms. Where you can wash and you are smart. You get. Hapa kuna matope taigia na siku moja. Kwa sababu ya the beauty of the place. So we are putting it up here, uh, and we are beginning first in a key to network parking. So we are parking. Magaris are easy, to go to magari kama ishirini hivi. Sidiyo? Lakini yote ya wezi ya kwa hapa. Hata ukiesabu, siyui kama Evans ya naweza kukwesabia, 
hizi magari lakini ni kama kumi hivi kwa sasa lakini tuko na zaidi ya hizo lakini hakuna mahali ya kuweka ndio maana hujakuja na yako sio mbaki ameacha magari nyumbani bisho kuja magari ni mingi sasa zimewachwa nyumbani kwa sababu hakuna paki eh kwa sababu hakuna paki wale wameinua na wengine wanafikiria ni mzaa hata kama iko iko katika jina la Yesu Yeah. 
I am tired of people who say, you know that tall slender man? Uh -huh. eh? That man who walks on the sideways. Uh -huh. Oh, because they don't know me. I want to introduce them to a new man. Oh, a man they have never known in their life. And that man has been hidden for a long time. It is time for that man to come up from the hiding so that you can be known. Let me tell you something. You see, when you see boxers and the people who run, ukiangalia wachezaji masumbu na wakimbiaji katika uwanja wa kikimbia, rafiki yangu hawakuja kufanya mazoezi. Wamekuja kujitambulisha wao ni kina nani? Mazoezi walifanya usiku wakijificha. Practice walikuwa wanafanya na wenzao huko. Lakini ukiona wako katika uwanja wanaambiwa all your match get set. Saa hiyo wanataka kutangaza kwa ulimwengu this is the man who has become who has come to be recognized. Kifafa Kumuona tu Pepo 
kuwa nikalipuka mtoto akaanguka akagaga chini huku akitoka na pofu kinywani Yesu akamuuliza baba yake mwanao amekuwa katika hali hii tangu lini akamjibu tangu utoto wake hadithi yake imekuwa hiyo tangu utotoni mara kwa mara huyu pepo mchafu amekuwa akimwangusha kwenye moto au kwenye maji ili kumwangamiza lakini kama unaweza kufanya jambo lolote tafadhali tuhurumie utusaidie Sari wa na tatu Yesu akamwambia kama ukiweza kuamini yote yanawezekana kwake yeye aaminie Mara baba yake yule mvulana akapiga kelele akisema ninaamini nisaidie kutokuamini kwangu Wow Yesu alipoona kwamba umati wa watu unakusanyika pamoja mbio akamkemea yule pepo mchafu akamwambia wewe pepo dugu na kiziwi na kuamuru umtoke wala usimwingie tena yule pepo mchafu akisha kupiga kelele akamtia kifafa kwa nguvu mm -hmm. na akamtoka yule mvulana alikuwa kama maiti hivyo watu wengi wakasema amekufa lakini Yesu akamshika mkono akamuinua naye akasimama wow. hallelujah life is very frustrating maisha yanaudhi wakati mwingi na watu wengi wamechanganyikiwa bisho kwacha ni kuambia hata hapa tumeketi hivi wewe wamekuja angalau wakutana na Mungu waondolee matatizo yao tona umekumbana na mambo ambayo hawajahusika kuyatengeneza wamejikuta tu katika ile hali walikuwa na mtumaini walipozaliwa kwamba wataenda mashariki lakini mara saa hizi wanaangalia western wewe kama mzazi unapozaa mtoto unakuwa na mtumaini unamuuliza what do you want to be when you grow up mtoto anasema i want to be a doctor Mwingine anasema I want to be an engineer. Wengi huwa wasemi I want to be a preacher. Lakini wako tu wanasema. Lakini wanasema I want to be a business man. But today umekaa kama chokora. Maisha yako frustrate kiasi ya kwamba umechanganyikiwa. Umeshawahi kuamka asubuhi na una pesa mfukoni, unachanganyikiwa. Wanaume kama hawana pesa wako huko nyumba, wanakaa kama wamekuwa wagonjwa. Mm. Mwanamke leo ndio ni stoki leo. Kuna kitu kwa hapa. Hakuna kitu kwa kushika ni hela hakuna. Kastress fulani. Maneno kutoka nje tu hivi hii Nairobi. Kutoka nje tu hivi ni pesa. Kuingia matatu ni pesa. Kuingia hotelini ni pesa. Kuja kanisani ni pesa. Ah. Na ni maisha ime frustrate what? Baba ukiwaangalia hivi na kuambia wanaenda hivi wakihesabu vitu. Si baba wanahesabu. Wanasema sasa ni madeni wanahesabu. Ni kukuambia saa hii orodhesha madeni yako na mapato yako. Andika upande huu debit na upande huu credit. Yaani hapo kwa mikopo itakuwa mrefu mpaka hapa. Yeah. Eh, hapa kwa mapato yako na atakuwa ni fupi. Maana ke watu wako frustrated with life. Mm. Hata Mungu ama hebu kumbuka wazazi wazazi wa Paulo. Paulo aliyekuwa akicheza kanisa alikuwa amesoma ana madigiri na kumwambia profesa kabisa hasa lakini alikuwa anaua watu wewe fikiria mzazi wake alikuwa anaonaje yaani mimi nizaa mwaji unaangalia mtoto wako bala kusaidia amekuwa ni stress amekuwa unaangalia ndugu yako ulidhania kwa sababu alikuwa anapita mtihani kumbe yeye sio hizi ndio mwizi sugu maisha ina nguvu frustrate they don't know what to do wengine in fact because they don't know what kind of business to do they even sell their bodies to earn money life is very frustrating whether you say yes or no it is i'm telling you you are thinking how you are going to handle school fees you are thinking how to buy, buy, buy groceries right now 
Maisha huwa yanatamausha. Lakini it is not over. Today we are beginning a new chapter. I'm telling you that frustration is coming to an end. We are going to think afresh and turn around and create a new beginning. Oh, in the name of Jesus. What does it take to rewrite your new story? Point number one, the word. The word can totally change you. It can totally transform your life. If you read and understand it, I want you to go to the book of Matthew. Bishop, you can read for me Matthew chapter 4 and verse 4. It is a well-known verse. Yani ni maambiko ya nao julikana sana. Katika kitapu cha matayo, mulango wa ine na mustari wa ine. Matthew chapter number 4. Diocese number 4. Yes. Kiswahili ya mungu. Nae akajibu akasema. Nae akajibu akasema. Ime andikwa. Ime andikwa. Nini huandikwa? Nini huandikwa? Neno. Neno. Ime andikwa. Ime andikwa. Mtu ata ishi kwa mkate tu. Mtu ata ishi kwa mkate tu. Ila kwa kila neno litokalo katika kinywa cha mungu. Ila kwa kila neno. So what does it take? To begin a new chapter in your life, it takes the blood. It takes the written word. Read it. John 1 1. It says, In the beginning was the word. In the beginning, before anything ever happens to your life, there must be a word. Which word are you relying on? Wow. Which word are you depending upon? Are you depending upon the word of the doctor? Who told you you've got what we call cancer inside you? Cancer is useless in the eyes of God. Cancer must melt away. Cancer must hear and disappear. Even right now as I speak, any swelling in your body is gone. In the name of Jesus. Because every situation can hear the word of God. So it takes the word of God for you to begin a new chapter in your life. Yes. New one. New chapter. Read for me Psalms 107 in verse 20. Word is very powerful. Neno. Zaburi miya moja na saba na mstari wa ishirini. Zaburi ya miya moja na saba mstari wa ishirini. Inasema na mnae. Ulituma neno lake. Ulituma neno lake. Alituma, imeadipa, ulituma neno lake uwaponya uwatoa katika maangamizo ya. Yeye ulituma neno lake uwaponya uwatoa katika maangamizo ya. Can you read that in English? He sent his word. He sent his word and healed them and healed them and delivered them from their destruction and delivered them from their destruction actually kuna ingini nasema and he rescued them from the grave yes neno ni naokoa kutoka katika kaburi wewe sahi kwa tika kaburi au kaburiwa mchanga lakini kondani ya kaburi i tell you we don't need to cover you with the soil when you are dead, you can be walking and you are dead. Walking dead. Those that do not know Jesus Christ and are walking, actually they are corpses that are walking. They are as good as dead. Bila Yesu, bila neno nani yako, wewe ni sawasawa na maiti na yotebera. Manu unekana maiti zinatebera, na zimejaka kita kuni wa mlorongo. Kuna maiti zimejaka, Kenya zinatebera. Zini unekana juzi zikepetia katika barabara inetua Kenya Tavini. Ni maiti. Bila Yesu. I'm telling you, Jesus is the only way to heaven. And without him, definitely you are going to eternal destruction. So how do you rewrite a new chapter? By depending on the word. He sent his word. And he took one into love. Nake now. Neno ni kawako. Kutogana na maangamizi. Where do you have to come maangamizi ya kifeza? Na kwambia mutu wanapata 100,000 bishop. Within one week, hakuna zimeenda wapi. I don't know what happens. Money does not stay. When we were the same amount with your neighbor, but your money does not stay. It is like in a even Yani, lakini neno, lina kuokua kutokana na maangamizo hayo. 
Je, unasoma neno? Ni lini ulisoma chapter mbili za Biblia? Ni lini ulimtafuta Mungu katika neno asubuhi tuliangalia tukaona the reason why people read the Bible. Ah, in the morning we saw there are many reasons, there are many, but there are three major reasons watu wanasoma Biblia. Wengine wanasoma Biblia watafuta kaneno ka kushikilia. Anasoma mpaka anakuja nafikia andiko ambao tuliangalia asubuhi nasema for I know the plans that I have for you declares the Lord good plans to give you hope and future and not to destroy you Muna sema that is my word God has a good word Lakini kwa mbia soma chini yako inasema aje If you obey me Hapo njima inasema kukunama Yako, yako kitu inaito punishment If you don't read Lakini unatafuta That is a one Christian Just reading, browsing the Bible Just kukupata kama neno kakumishia Wapili ni watu kama sisi maubiri Tunasoma chapters Angalau kutafuta neno ya kuja kumbiri Siku wama umesoma bibelea Lakini unafuta kaneno tu uje kumbiri Lakini wasomaji watatu Ni wali ambao unataka kusikia sauti ya mungu Wanasoma the entire book Wanzia chapter 1 Back at the last chapter They want to hear what is God saying about my life He is warning me He is punishing me He is ananiruni So what is the Why do you read the Bible If you ever read How many have ever read the entire Bible you know it is dangerous if you have been in the church for 5, 10 years and you have never read even 5 books. Miaka kumi umekaa standard 1. Why do you do? 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 Na ajakua kuandika 1 plus 1. Yani marudia to class 1. Class 1. Class 1. When are you going to write a new chapter? Unaona, you know, it is like a chicken. You know, a chicken is unable to fly. You are an eagle, but you are behaving like a chicken. Wow. Yani, you are meant to soar up like an eagle when the five kilometers. Uyo mnyama anaitwa naiko tayo. Akiwa kilometer tano. Uko yu, five kilometers. Anaweza kuona nyoka chini. Yani, ama kifaranga, five kilometers or one kilometer ako there. Wewe yaka sa hii kipanda juu ya hii nyumba utaona tu matitu hivu Wewe kwa nabali Your eyes cannot be like the eyes of an eagle And the eagle of 5 kilometers can see And it comes at a very high speed and it swoops Wow Anaenda kuchezea mchezo kule ya mezoea Wewe umezoea mchezo wa chini lakini tie anda kuchezea mchezo wa juu Ukiuliwa juu unakuwaka pekako Hapo unakuwaka na mungu Wanadamu wa kawaida, the normal human beings, they congregate here on earth. But leaders and the people who fly high, they are only up there. And they walk alone. You know, you know, leaders are very lonely. Leaders in the spiritual matters are not very many. Oh, yeah, how many bishops are here? It's only one. Uh, this man, he can tell you every month, he can attend up to three or four, four barrios. He sees death many days. How many times have you seen death? He sees six people more than you. He's a leader. Leaders are unique and are very few. They are few. They are people who have written a new chapter. Leaders, they saw up. And the leaders don't fear. Ushaona simba, wanaambaza simba wengine. Aogopi. Wanyama wate wakimuona, wanatetemeka. Imagine Dove, mwenye tani saba, anaogopa, kasimba. Kasimba, wako wakimuwa mugu hivi kakeisha. Lakini, kakiona simba, kana tetemeka, kana kuma. Nani dude? Angalia giraffe, the way it is tall. Tall! Inaika kufanya tu hivi simba wakaisha. Lakini, kiona mbio hiyo mbio. Mbio, inaogopa kwa kitu. Why? Because of Ryan is a leader. He had a right, a new chapter. I can say, my baby, when I see elephant, I see lunch. Wow. I don't see an enemy. When I see a giraffe, I see lunch. Oh, it's lunch time. And I want a new one, I keep it at you. Yeah. Where are you going to, where are you going to deliver as a man in my mom in Malaysia? That's what you want to talk about. My mom in Malaysia. In Malaysia. Because his attitude. You know, to write a new chapter, you need to change your attitude. Change your attitude the way you see things. See them differently. Oh, yeah. Be like a kuwa kama seremana. Fundi bao. Fundi bao wakitabea mstuni. Mnini mnaona miti ya naona bao. Wewe mnaona mtu mtu mrefu ya naona bao. Kuna fe. 
5 by 4 Anaona different you Ni kama simu akitembea hivi Ah hallelujah change your attitude you need the word the one who change your attitude Oh we must go very fast we only have 5 minutes Number 2 obedience Ya kwanza ni neno ya pili ni utivu I'm telling you Bishop read for us Genesis chapter 6 and verse 22 Genesis chapter number 6 Yes verse number 22 22 Eh inasema namna hii Divyo alivyofanya nuru nuru sawa sawa na vyote alivyo mwamuru Mungu Hivyo divyo alivyofanya Tusomee kwa Kiingereza Thus did no according to all that God commanded him so he did Actually another version says so he obeyed so he obeyed Ali fanya jinsi Mungu alimwagiza afanye obedience The opposite of obedience is called what rebellion rebellion Hebu tusomee If you are willing and obedient hebu tusomee Warumi 4:2 And Noah aliti Noah aliambiwa asubuhi niliwaambia Noah ni nani Noah ni mjuku wake jamaa anaitwa Methusela Methusela is the oldest living person in the Bible alikaa miaka 969 Na Noah alikuwa ni mjuku wake jina Methusela maana yake kwa Kiingereza Methusela ni jina ya Kiebrania inasemanga it will happen when you die It shall come when you die. That is what it means. Yani akifa tu tarika ndio itakuja. Oh ho ho. Yani huyu mzee amekaa miaka 696. 969. Hizo namba zinafanana sana. 969. Na akazaa kijana, na kijana akazaa kijana Safina, Rot, Kurwa Amba alikuwa naonekana Amechanga nikiwa kabisa Hei, atibisho kusasa wanda kutengeneza Safina mangalawa hapa Mirodongo Tuta kupeleka madhari Hapa kuna bari, bari kwa api Bari kwa kisumu Hapa, mbasa Alafu wanda kuondo kutengeneza media Alafu nasema, nina ambia watu wa Mirodongo, kari kaina kuja Kuja ni muingie hapa Ya, ala It was not very easy. We boat for 120 years, and you are telling people come committed, committed. I don't believe. I don't believe. I don't believe. Kuja, unajua manabi wakikwe ni wapen. As we are telling people wapen, we are kiriya unatabiriya watu na wapen. Muda kufa. Nini zami umetenda? Muda kufa. Who are you going to be? Jeremy, I don't believe. I don't believe. You are going to captivity, all of you. You are going to die. Si kuna mmekataa kuacha dhambi. Nyinyi mnafanya mambo ya kii. Hivyo mnafanya. Mnaangamia miaka 20. Wewe fikiria ukubiria watu na kuna hiyo. Watu gani wanakuja kanisa? Hakuna. Ah, una unahubiri ile mzuri. Unasema eh barikiwa receive anointing. Receive a car. Receive a house. Nakupea wapi? Hiyo ndio kufanya kazi mzee. Hapo fanya kazi mzee. Eh. Unatumia elimu ambapo wewe umepatiwa fanya kazi. Ikiitua uduma kama yutu inafanya nini Kwanza bibi yako anatoroka Tatu ni kwa wakasema Nilionewa na jamaa moja chisi Na kuambia mejenga Kitu sikini kule Wewe Watoto na kuya dadi tunashita Dadi lakini hii Mamele tunyengeni Tunyengeni watoto wako wewe Dadi lakini Wanako wakuba na wawa na wawa Na badu na jenga Unaobey the voice Unaobey Yani umeomba Baka maboti Baka 40 years still praying Na badu jibu Baka wana nasema Akili ime korogeka Aja korogeka You are trying to write a new chapter in your life It's only the consistent people Who are going to have a new chapter in their lives They don't give up We were some place The other day with the bishop Na tulizikia ushude ya jamaa He never gave up Baka akafa 
one eighty six. The one who is born as a man, he now is a car. Eighty six. Yeah. Eh? Yeah. Where were you twenty six? You need to be six years to be here. Now you are asking for the yard. Why you are asking? Then if you are going to stay with the Lord, chapter for a long time. So no one obeyed, and because of obedience, the entire generation here now is going to conquer. You see, obedience can totally transform your life. Totally transform you. Read for us uh, chapter number four, verse two, Romans. Romans. Romans four two. Walomi ine mustari wapili unasema namna hii For if Abraham were justified by works he had well of to glory but not before God Romans For to For to kwa maana ikiwa Ibrahim aliyesabiwa haki kwa ajili ya matendo yake matendo aliyesabiwa haki kwa sababu ya yani wewe ameamini anano la kujisifia lakini si mbele za Mungu tu absolutely what read for us verse Samuel 15 hiyo ndio mzuri sana Samuel wa kwanza 15 hiyo ni opposite of obedience Samuel wa kwanza 15 mstari wa 22 na 23 22 23 inasema na mlaa kwa Kiswahili Naye Samuel akasema je, Bwana uzipenda sadaka za kuteketezwa na dhabiu sawa sawa na, ku, na kuitii sauti ya Bwana? Mm -hmm. Angalia kutii ni bora kuliko dhabiu na kusikia kuliko mafuta ya bebeo. Kwani uasi ni kama dhambi ya uchawi na ukaidi ni kama ukafiri na vinyango kwa kuwa umelikataa neno la Bwana yeye naye amekukataa wewe usiwafaa kwisha kwa sababu umekataa kutii that is where you are living on an old chapter obedience helps you write a new chapter yes obedience kitu raisi you know we train people on leadership and management we know katika ulimwengu wa uongozi na usimamizi bora wa mashirika ni kitu inaitwa if you are here your politician don't worry i'm finishing now we are going back to our story in mark 14 we are going to write a new story we don't train people for attitudes we train people for skills and competencies but we hire them for one thing loyalty attitude mutazamu wa mambo ndio maana i will make you the ceo and the managing director of my company then i travel to america and i come after one year because i know i am a loyal person loyalty sasa sabeli anamwambia huyu jamaa kutii ni bora kuliko dhabihu Kuti is being loyal. The men around the big men, like our president, they are loyal. You think they are stupid when they say, "Wana msifu." So when I see them, they msifu. Kuna mama moja msifu, president zana. Sio? Baka na mimi ni mo. It is called loyalty. They can be trusted with anything without changing. They will be loyal. God is looking for how loyal are you? Let me tell you a secret, women. When you are totally loyal to your husband, he will do everything. That is why women from Uganda. Jawasia. Jawasia wana wa Uganda, mimi mbona nione kama shawasia? Wanatabia gani hawa wanawake? Wanajulikana kwa nini? Astaki wanaume wangu, nataka kijana. Wana wanaambia kwa namna gani? Wanakuja namna gani? Ikia. Lakini huko Kenya Wewe yaje buda unanisukua chakula hapo mbona ikoje ndio tuwe. Ah sisemi ni hawa hawa hapa ni sawa. Hawa ni kama wajuka. Lakini kuna wengine mzee. Haya ya ya. Ah natengeneza chakula alafu anaitupa. Yes we are here. Na wewe ni bibi. No royalty. Anasema mzee. Mzee wewe mzee unapata pesa ngapi? Mimi napata 150. Wewe unapata ngapi? Ah mzee 
mwanzo huna kibarua wewe unasinja mwanzo wewe They are not loyal, but not this one's please. I'm not talking about this one's bishop. I'm talking about the other one down there. Maroko, wana wa Maroko. Eh, wana eh, wana wa Rwanda. Huko. Hawa ni sawa kabisa. Lakini wakati wangetaka kuwa loyal, mimi ningetaka kuwa loyal to my God. Kwamba akija nikuja nimekuwa mwaminifu, siangalizia maneno yangu. Karika jina la Yesu. Sasa Samuel anamwambia wewe, God is not interested in this. Umejimes Umetoa dhabihu umefanya vitu ambavyo ungekuwa ukutakiwa kufanya wewe si kuhani kwa nini ume he akiwa wanaenda kuzika watu na wewe umejaribu mkono kuzika watu mauti itakuingia wewe 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 unaenda atitubari tubari tubari Mzee utakuwa unaona mizoga inakujia usiku. Maana watu watii, wamerebel, they are born. Awe, hawatakusikia, wanaambiwa. Huyu Saudi akaambiwa na na Samuel, wacha kufanya hivi nikojee nije. Jamaa akasema hapo jamaa amedelay sana bwana. Ananiwezea time bwana. Wewe leta hizo kitu hapo akaweka. Wewe after ah ya 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 ya. Samuel akaambiwa ule Daudi baba na nzita ule. Saudi baba ni nini? Ah nimemtolea Nilewa. Nilikuwa umechelewa. Ufalme wako sasa umefanya nini? Kalas. Wewe utakaa na old chapter. Wewe hakuna new chapter in your life. That was the end of that man, David Ross. Because and guide not obey. Obedience is number two. The third and the last one inaitwa divine connection. <laughs> Unaunganishwa na maali source of things. When you want to write a new chapter, you must be connected to a new source. Read for us Genesis 39. Genesis 39 verse 4 and 5. Because when you are linked and connected to the right guys, you don't need to have a problem. You just need to know a man. Me, I know a man called Jesus. Help so many. Genesis 39 verses number 4. Mm -hmm. And Joseph Joseph mm -hmm. found grace in his sight. And Joseph and he served him mm -hmm. and he made him an overseer over his house. Mm -hmm. And all that he had he put it into his hands. Mm -hmm. Yusuf akaona neno matundi pake. Yes, akamtumikia. Naye akamweka awe msimamizi juu ya nyumba yake. Na yote yaliyomo akayaweka mkononi mwake. And it came to pass from the time that he had made him overseer in his house and over all that he had that the Lord blessed the Egyptian's house for Joseph's sake mm -hmm. and blessings of the Lord was upon all that he had in his house and in the field ikawa tokea wakati alipomweka awe msimamizi juu ya nyumba yake na vyote vilivyomo Bwana akabariki nyumba ya yule Misri kwa ajili ya Yusuf baraka za Bwana ikawa juu ya vyote vilivyokuwa uh, alivyokuwa navyo katika nyumba na katika mashamba Umesikia hiyo sura? Yes. Amesema tangu Joseph alipoingia kwa nyumba ya nani? Anaitwa nani huyo jamaa? Ya huyo Misri. Kwa anaitwa Nepotifa. Nepotifa. Nepotifa huyo Misri. Huyo Misri. Huyo Misri. Haja ukoka. Haja ukoka kabisa. Ameingia. Na kwa sababu huyu mtu amebarikiwa. Huyu jamaa ana ubako na dirilika. Yaani yeye huyu jamaa ana chochote wala yote. Yeye ni mateka aliuzwa akiwa na miaka saba. aliwekwa sokoni unajua zamani sisi tulipokuwa tunauzwa tume watu wauzwa wameuzwa kuna kama mmoja alikuwa anaitwa chief kivoi wa kutoka kitui alikuwa anabeba watu wanakusanya kusanya kwa njia anapeleka Mombasa wanafika mahali kwa naitwa Mariakani wanaambiwa wekeni Mariaka hapo na Waarabu ili wachukue watu wa wapeleke sasa wale wauze sasa kuna soko ya watu wasichana na wanaume na ilikuwa lazima ufanyiwe inspection uonekana kama uko sawa na bisho inspection ilikuwa ni uchi wa mnyama toa kila kitu geuka 
Tuangalia huko nyuma kwa makadio ya kuja. Angalia mabuu ya kutuangalia ukijana ya sawa tuone kifua. Okay, tuangalia kifua mena. Aha. What? Ha? Slave trade ilikuwa nafanyo hivyo. Ilienda mani kwa naiko kishiwa kile kwa kaulo. Mani kwa naiko Senegal. Kule Senegal huko. Na kuambia kuna kamlango kadogo kanaitwa a door of no return. Na wameandika hapo from this door 26 million children died. Yaani kama wewe umechukuliwa kutoka either na uko West Africa kama Nigeria, Ghana, Liberia, sasa umechotwa nyote. Walikuwa nakuja wanazunguka watu namna hii kijiji kizima, alafu wanakusanya pamoja, wanaweka kwa meli. Mnabebwa wale wanaguru wanatoroka. Mnaepa kwa meli, mnaepelekwa sasa mnapelekwa kule chini South America na America. Ukifika huko umechukuliwa mama, baba, sansara kwa baba, wazee walikuwa wachukuliwa wale watu ya mia. Ukifika huko kama ulikuwa anaitwa Pete, ulikuwa Musioki, ama anaitwa Unyango, naambiwa from today wewe ni Washington. Na huyu imagine huyu ni brother wako, brother anauzwa huko sehemu zinaitwa Atlanta, Georgia. Na huyu anauzwa Caribbean, huyu atauzwa sehemu zinaitwa Trinidad and Tobago. Huyu ataenda Venezuela. Na ni ndugu zako, unaona wanauzwa. Kwa soko wanachukuliwa wanauzwa. Alafu majina wewe ulikuwa anaitwa Kanini ama Mwende. Sasa wewe utaitwa hiyo jina ya huko. Si unajua? Eh kama kina sasa kina George unaona wale wazungu wako hapa. Hawana jina ya Kiafrika. George William. Alikuwa anaitwa pengine Onyango Odhiango. Lakini sasa ni George William. Hawajui kule walitoka. Wakaanauzwa. Sasa hivyo ndivyo Joseph alivyouzwa aliwekwa kwa soko walio kwa wanunua watu sana sana ni wazungu, Wahindi na Waarabu. Lakini wale wa Afrika wote walinuliwa kwa Arabu walikuwa castrated. <laughs> That's why you don't see black Muslim. Wale wana video wewe ndio yao. Mwisha basi mess. It was terrible. Shetani alishindwa katika jina la Yesu. Wewe hitaki kushikwa mateka katika maisha yako. Nataka kushika mapepo mateka. Na sasa hivi tunayateka katika jina la Yesu. Wewe pepo uliochanganya watu wa Mungu wasiwe na akili timamu na kukamatwa na kufunga katika jina la Yesu mshindwe hakuna siku watakushika tena waambie hakuna mateka tena hakuna mateka we are free and we are free indeed Mungu the son says we shall be free and shall be free indeed lakini hata hivi walipokuwa slave akaitwa kwa jamaa anaitwa Potifa maana alikuwa anamjua Yesu alikuwa anamjua Mungu alikuwa amebarikiwa japo ni mfungo alipoingia vitu vikaanza kutengenezeka kuna nawili anagusa hapa anafanikiwa anapanda mahindi baada ya kupata dakika mbili amini gunia mbili anapata gunia usini akigusa hivi mama alikuwa azai anaanza kuzaa connection that's a political network connected with the source whom are you connected with can you release those bad connections you have achana na wewe msengenyaji achana na wewe mchawi ungana na mtumishi wa Mungu divine connection eskanisha hapo ili wapige ni chapter divine connection ili ukiingia kwa nyumba zao unaenda kazini unamwambia kesho ni mwatatu ukienda kazini ukianza kuzika shida ya computer Shetani anapenda kuembaras. Huyu kijana alipagawa na pepo akiwa mdogo. Sasa Yesu anakuja amewatuma wanafunzi wake waende wakatue pepo. Kwa sababu hawana divine connection kwa maana atoka katika jina la Yesu hayadoki. Hayadoki mtoto bado anaanguka na kifafa. Asiki na ongee sasa huyo jamaa anachomea wanafunzi eh, bishop amelituma mahali lakini bishop tumengangana inakataa kutoka sasa hawani shindwa hao wanafunzi wao sasa kunisaidie akamwambia hii mambo ilianza nini akaambiwa tangu kakiwa katoto sasa akakufanya dhambi 
wewe hukufanya dhambi una matatizo yametoka na uko nyuma hata unywi kafara inatolewa na nani kuna mambo yanakuja katika maisha si kwa sababu ya kupenda wako yani pango uko wakaoma kwa hivyo wanaitaka milinge ama madhabahu ya kishetani anasema mimi na watoto wangu ilikuwa kuna babu yangu anafanya hivi hiyo kitu ni wewe wana sivyo babu yangu alikuwa na bibi mingi na sasa alikuwa kimnunulia kwa sababu alikuwa ni mlevi lakini nashukuru Bwana siku leo hiyo roho ilienda kabisa alikuwa kumletea pombe alikuwa anakuja na ile unajua ile 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 inaitwa nzele unajua nzele kiyuri unajua kiyuri sio kijadio inaitwa ile ya uji ule anaika kabinuka Kiluya inaitwa ile ya SS eh kwa kikuyu anaita kiyuri kwa kama anaita nzele hii inaitwa ni kwa kwacha ile ndio kwanza na kitu ya kushika hapa unafanya hivi unatengeneza sasa ulikuwa ukimwekea pombe pale ana anaanguka sasa anafanya tuji wazee kukeni sasa baadaye nilipokuwa nikawa ni sasa hii wazee kumbe wazee ni madimons yes anasema bariki watoto wangu wakuwe watoto wako sasa wewe unabakiwa namna hiyo sasa ndio maana unaanguka na kifafa lazima ujue jinsi ya kukata hizo connection ni pofu hizo walikuwa na mwaka wanasema mmm sasa mmm hata ndio na kiriama huko wanapata juu ya mkoma wanatumia zeko boko boko ana kwa ya moja kwa kana ndio charo charo anaonja hiyo anasema mmm pofu sasa ataska pokeli wazee kumbe wazee ni mapepo ya shindo katika jina la Yesu mungu na disconnect nyote The devil doesn't like anything good about you. Anakutukia tu. Eh? Alafu anakumshapa maji na moto. Tarika jina la Yesu hizo mapepo zishindwe na zishindwe. So three things. Kwa sababu ya time, let me stop. There. Point number one, inaitwaje? The one. Point number two. Obedience point number three. You are going to write a new Pastor come and finish for us bishop. Oh, come and finish this. Oh, to simame kwa miguu yetu, to simame kwa miguu yetu. Oh, thank you Lord. Thank you Lord. Thank you Jesus. Number 1 inaitwa nini? Hebu nionyeshe. Number 1. Hebu simama useme imeandikwa. Ambia shetani imeandikwa. Bwana asifiki. Yosha kidogo useme imeandikwa. Imeandikwa. Bwana Yesu asifiwe. When it is written, no one will change what is it, it is written. Kile kilichoandikwa juu ya maisha yangu, hata wanadamu watafute jinsi ya kutifuta, haitafutika. Number two, inaitwa nini? Obedience. Ambao imewashinda wengi mwaka mbili hiyo nikakumbuka i kept the team ambayo ilikuwa na mama juzi ya pastors watu wamekusanyika pale do you remember niliwapatia mambo matatu if you want to become blessed unapotaka ndio ufaulu maisha achana na habari ya kwenda kuambiwa kuhubiriwa juu ya, ya, ya financial breakthrough unaambiwa tu vitu ambavyo haiwezekani hii mambo matatu Obedience is more than a sacrifice. Na hiyo ni imeshinda watu kabisa. Maana kila mtu anasikia akona yake. Na ya mwisho power of divine connection. Kuza mtu muulize ninategemea uko na nani. Sometimes what I'm saying sometimes the visit you are is to Nilipokuwa nashinda na huyu nilikei nini? Na nilipobadilika nikaanza kushinda na huyu nilikei nini? 
na kama nimeshinda na wewe na ukaanguka kimaisha asa katika breakthrough ya kifinance tafadhali leo hii natangaza tangazo maalum nione ofisini kama tushawahi kushinda pamoja na utakosa kupenya kimaisha nione ofisini una shida kubwa sana kuliko injili nao yubili inaonekana uko na shida kubwa mno kuliko injili ambao ninayo yubili maana i know hata paulo alisema we go about the life na jua ninamjua Na sita mwajilia, no matter what people say, 
I will walk that man and he will make me right now. And I'm totally you come up. Ukivuka hivi, ukonamu. Ukivuka hivi, ukonamu. Anza kutengeneza mashafi ya kukula vizuri. Manono. God bless you. Anza kutengeneza mashafi. Oh, yeah. 